everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Tries Escape Colon. The Brothers Saloon, sorry I couldn't resist. This is a code I did receive from the developers, thank you for that. They said, hey NL, I saw you play The Escaper, I saw you play uh, The Room on the Golden Goblet. Uh, maybe you'd be interested in playing our new game. It's called Escape Colon The Brothers Saloon. It's an escape room game inspired by games like We Were Here um, that I think you might be interested in. And I said, you know what, absolutely. Let's check this out. This is the first video of the day. My brain is not ready for puzzles. Let's answer some skill testing questions. What's two to the power of five? 32. What's four times 17? 68. He's done it. Who's the best Warzone player in the Golden Goblet? It's Malf, okay? Are you happy? I answered all three of them correctly. Let's get started here. This is eight, nine Canadian dollars, probably 750 US. There's one for your bingo card. Okay. There's a chess board. Just step one, you always got to figure out just what the heck you're doing. Dear brother, I have not been entirely truthful with the back-end business and have run into some trouble. I'm sure you would try to find and help me, but I think you're the one who needs help. I know you won't stay put, so I've taken some measures to keep you here. I'm sorry, dear brother, but this is for your own good. You always love to sit at that desk, your nose buried in a book all night long as if there was no tomorrow. Let's see if there is a tomorrow for you. Let's try an experiment, shall we? Until the end, Joseph. Okay, this is what the desk used to look like. There's an eight ball on the left. The book is not here. The lamp is on. The book is indeed up at the top. But this thing, that thing wasn't there. This thing wasn't there. And this was like over here somewhere. Bottle. Pool bowl. The voyage of the something. Herein I recount the voyages of the SS Mirrodon and my journey to the four corners of the globe. We began our quest early one midsummer's eve on a dock in South London. From there it was a month's journey around the Cape. Raging storms forced us to seek shelter in a tiny nameless port town. We feared the waves would tear us apart. But fate, it seems, had other plans for us. Entering the village's sole tavern, by miraculous chance, I encountered an old friend who I had not seen in years. He offered us much-needed supplies and bid us good luck on our journey east. After many weeks at sea, we arrived at the bustling metropolis of Shanghai. Though I could not speak the language, the people there were friendly enough and I managed to secure passage further east towards the New World. After a short stop in Hawaii, we endured the tempestuous gales of the Pacific on our way to Mexico. We arrived in Puerto Vallarta just in time for spring break. I was more than happy to spend the season in the balmy tropics before proceeding. I could sense the end of my voyage was near, but the quest for treasure <laughs> had only just begun. Okay. So we oh well let's start with the the obvious like step one. Anytime we see a chess piece, we're gonna we're gonna try to take advantage of said chess piece. I definitely yeah 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 okay so we, this is probably you put these on the map in order of where they got to places, but I mean come on here look at this step one, which is actually step like four hundred apparently. Um, can I open my inventory here? Like we got a knight. Where's the... I mean, are we trying to put one side into checkmate? We have a white knight. I mean, a great place for this white knight is right there. Puts the bishop into a dangerous situation. The black knight? I don't know. Now that I think about it, I'm like... If you wanted to get checkmate, you might put the black knight there. And then the black rook here. And look, I mean, if if black just acted, ah, uh, you, you know what? Now that I think about it, you're not in checkmate. The queen could still capture you there. But that, I mean, it would be a it, it would be quite the the trade. But anyway, we'll 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 come back to that maybe a little bit later. We got a bunch of vases. Vases are going to be involved somehow. A bunch of clocks. What's going on here? We need the dial to tune the radio. Now, it's a good question, right? We've only got three logic gates. Which is very tough for me because I don't know how logic gates work to begin with. I never, uh, I never got that far in Minecraft. I have programmed before in my life, but uh, 
I wonder, I wonder if we only need three for this section somehow. Does that make sense? I'm assuming we need to light up all the lights. This is the, the, it's the part of any escape room where, to be honest with you, you should just accept that things are going to be a little touchy at the start. December 3rd, 1997. 1997? Are you insane? Another piece, another vase, another book. Another vase, another vase, a bear statue. And another book, another book. You should just accept at the start of any escape room, it's going to take you a little while to figure out what you're trying to do. I accept this. June 29th, 1991. You think these are like developers' birthdays? I didn't realize we could even take the name plates. Ah, or the, the age plates. A August 8th, 2009. So, quite interesting. Quite interesting so far. Now, we know on the globe that we push these. We know Mexico is last. So, it's like they left South London. They went to... They sailed around the Cape. Maybe we take that one off. I'm not sure. Hold on, hold on. There we got we got one piece placed. Let me work this out. From there it was a month's journey around the Cape. We were forced to seek shelter in a tiny nameless port town. So Shanghai is third. A tiny, nameless port town. It could be this. It wouldn't be this because we've gone around the Cape. I think it's maybe this. Or this. And then they went to Hawaii. And then they went to Mexico. That's, that's too many placements. He's done it. Okay, so we didn't need to worry about the port town. All right, having solved a puzzle. I don't know what that has given us. What if, what if we... I'm trying to think about how we could figure out, like, maybe the house is in disrepair as time goes on. And we'd want to rearrange it. I don't know, man. You know what? Let's say you're 1991... You're 2009, and you're 1997. How do you feel about that? Okay, hear me out here. Let's say these two are flipped. And you are 1997. And you're 1991. And then if that doesn't work, then what we're going to do is we're going to make you... If you'll excuse me here. My mouse wheel is a little touchy. It's not the game's fault. Okay, so for now, we're just going to say, you know what? I don't really know what's going on with these. Let's wait it out. There might, there might be uh, more information for us to glean at a later date. But we've solved one puzzle. The over-under on solving even a single puzzle might have been, uh, might have been low. Okay, so we know this. We need a... Uh, oh! By the way, just remember, it's 5 p.m., I don't know what we should do with these, but that's okay. There's always a clock puzzle in these games. We got another book. We got a red book. Oh. The only question... I ha Like, you can place books in here. Does it matter? Yeah, I mean, it definitely matters. We don't know what order to put them in yet. We got another vase. Oh, there's a moose. May I take the moose? Thank you. And then what the heck is going on over here? It's a deer. Welcome. Okay. Well, here's what I'm thinking. You come over here. You place the bear on the chessboard. And then checkmate. You lose. So do we We just got a queen, right? Like, we, we have three chess pieces. We have four chess pieces. What would my thinking be? 
one thing, I mean, there's a couple of different ways you can interact with the chessboard here, right? One would be um, try to set up checkmate with the pieces we have. But I don't believe that we can checkmate the black pieces. We would only be able to checkmate the white pieces, maybe. Um, I mean, well, hold on. It's checkmate. <laughs> um, the other thing we could do, if that's not the case, we could try to, like, mirror the pieces that are on the other side, but this, it doesn't really make any sense to me that we would mirror the pieces. Um, or we could invert the pieces, like you're on um, F1. We could put our black rook on, like, you know, C1. This doesn't seem likely to me. It, it. The reason this doesn't seem likely to me is because of the fact that the, I mean, there's only there's no white knights. Ah, uh, but you know what? There's gonna be two black knights. Hmm. We can also infer. Okay, like one white knight has been captured. Maybe we could still be missing some pieces as well. But this is one where, admittedly, I'm just like. I'm just a little bit confused. You could use all of the pieces to put the enemy in the check. You think that's what we're looking for here? Put the enemy... Use the... Mo okay, okay. You know what? Maybe we'll find a photo or something that will, that will tell us how to interact with this board. It's a good question. It's a good question for now. All right. We've, we've ignored these vases for too long. We have... I mean, just the number one thing I would think of is... Apply vase to vase, you know, like like we have vases that are essentially similar here, and this one, you know, I mean, I'm not an interior designer, just to be straight up with you, but I mean to me these do these do fit. Doesn't really make any sense. Now, hold on. There's a clock here. Hold on. You get out of here. Place a clock. I don't know why we would want these on the same level. <clears throat> Maybe instead we're dealing with like a match three situation. You ever consider we're dealing with a match three situation? So grab these and you would put like... Tiny bottle right there. And you would put like tiny bottle right here. Doesn't make any sense. What you're doing here does not make any sense. Okay. Well, we gotta. Um, oh, hold on. If you'll excuse me, we'll grab these as well. Um, we gotta. We gotta find a. Oh, a new piece. Look at that. We gotta find a seam with which to interact with. I'm still like the. Oh, you know what? Maybe the globe opened that shelf. That makes sense to me. That makes sense to me. So we need a logic gate, we need a dial for the radio. I have faith we're going to make some more progress. I'm just thinking this through and I'm like, what do you need? Do you need to be all yellow books? That doesn't really make sense to me. Is there a sequence? Like, does it go blue, yellow, green, pink? You know what I mean? Like blue, yellow, green, this is purple, red, <laughs> um, not red, how about uh, blue? Okay, just missing some clues, just missing some clues right now. I mean, it's obvious we have to do this, we have to do this. I just don't know where we're going to discover the sequence, or if we even have all the books. This is this is part of oh another blue book. This is part of the escape room uh, experience. Sincerely, if you're watching this and you're like, I'm frustrated because I don't know what to do. That's life. You know, well, it's not life. That's the escape room specifically. Just what do you want from me? <laughs> also, how would you play chess here? There's like seven feet between the couch and the. And the board, you know, you're gonna you're gonna put a curve in your spine. Would not recommend. All right, all right. 
So I think we we know kind of what's still going on here. Let, let's think about it. These don't turn on. You know what? Good to know. Good to know. This one does. And this one's kind of is flashing. You think you think it's hitting us with some Morse code or you think it's just here for atmosphere? These lights actually might be relevant. I hope that's not the case, but I, I can't deny that it might be the case. Sometimes you just got to take a step back. Can we interact with the top shelf? No, it's really just the three shelves. Am I a fool? I'm like, do we just make the shelf look like kind of the inverted version of itself? Like, to create some symmetry? I mean, you gotta remember, like, when it comes to escape room style puzzles, you're really, like, dealing in the abstract most of the time. You're, you're either dealing in the abstract or the hyper-literal. Uh, hyper the abstract would be like, you know, make these things look similar. The hyper-literal is, I found a number... I found a four-digit number on the back of a photograph, so let's put that into this combination lock. Oh, who would have thought? It works. So I'm thinking, like, you know, maybe you just make these mirror images of one another. And if they're mirror images, that would mean that the bottles go like this. And then... This has got to be it. It's... Or we can flip some of the stuff around its axis. Let's go! Okay, so that's a good step, good step. That opened this up. What did that give us? Clock weight, okay. So we can now take the clock weight and apply it. But we need to know how to set these three things. Which we don't right now. And there's a lot of different places we could put them. And we also have we have bear, deer, moose. A lot of a lot of things with three. Like I don't know if this is related. We we got a lot of thematic three elements right now. I and the other thing for me right now is I don't know where to place the figurines. Apparently, there's a lot of places to put them. Um, I don't know if like maybe the crown molding. Has some, some ability there? Interesting. You know what? You could just look at the photo. That'll probably tell you how to do it. So you've got like a, maybe a neutral down one, up one. Just give it, just give it a minute. Like this. I mean, that looks right. It looks like so right. <laughs> let me just try... Let me just try to cross-reference this. It's like... This one is quite far below. Could be like this. Hold on. Like that, that looks right to me. Like this is, actually I think this one was one higher than the notch on the side, which would make this one higher. This is like the same, maybe it goes one lower. Maybe it goes one lower. I don't believe so. This is more like halfway, hold on. I know you're like, what are you doing? It's roughly lined up. Lined up. Let's just keep them at, at this for now. Lined up, two thirds down, one third up, and the, oh, hold on, the clock also reads. Excuse me. I was able to click on the center of this. The clock also reads like three ten. I don't know if there's any way we can like these. This doesn't change the time, right? Not at all. So I really think 
That's the way they're supposed to look, but we got to change the clock somehow. All right. Hmm. Delightfully devilish. We have a chessboard that, to be honest, I feel like we have all the pieces for. But I just don't fully understand what we're trying to accomplish. We have a bookshelf that I'm sure... Oh, you know what? Do we have to fill in these spaces? Red, blank, red. Is it, is it just a mirror image of the other side? That worked pretty well for us last time. Maybe... You know what? That actually kind of makes sense. Maybe it's like a cipher. So like a red book on one side becomes a blue book on the other side. Red, blue... Red, blue, blue, red, blue, black, green, red. I have no idea. Um, I, I just don't know. Black book, black book, red book, red book. I mean, I, I still almost think like you can just infer kind of a code from this. I do think it goes, I mean, to me, it seems maybe not obvious, but I think it goes yellow green purple and then a different color perhaps is blue perhaps perhaps we wouldn't know we wouldn't know what would the other side be then dude i mean this is where i'm like i got no idea blue red red blue red seems common <laughs> oh my god you can fill these in we do we have a, a nightmare situation here let's make a sandwich. I think we're missing a book. I gotta say, is is a harder escape room than some of the recent games we played, and I respect that. I re I respect that greatly right now. It is also uh, it's sending me a little bit. I'm not gonna deny. There's a little element of being sent. Logic gate. You, I didn't know you could hit the button. That one's broken. So this is just... These ones will light up right now. Because of this, I think. So we just need to figure... I Honestly, I think we can kind of trial by error this one. Which would be huge for me. Doesn't go there, maybe? How about here? Oh, okay, okay. You're doing great, sweetie. Of course, of course. One would have to go here, then. I'm not really thinking. I'm just kind of clicking, I'll admit. Why does this not go through? Fuses are broken. Are these fuses? I don't know. Beats me, brother. How about just completing one of these first? And maybe we can reuse the pieces? I'm like, hold on, does that mean these both need to be... Again, I don't know logic gates. Yes, yes. Great stuff. Now, ah, is it, you know, you need both of these to be filled in order to get one out there? Is that how that works? I don't know, man. I'm not an electrical engineer. See, this now has one filled in. What's up with that? This has none. What, what, a, what a strange situation we find ourselves in. <laughs> I don't get it. Did that change? The no, okay, okay. I'm like, I don't understand why you turn on. That's that's kind of where I'm at. Okay, remove these. I get this is probably frustrating. These cannibalize each other. Why is that? Can you... You know what? Now that I think about it. You can only turn on three. Okay! Now that we learn the constraints of the puzzle, we can get somewhere. 
Perhaps. If we want to get the signal to the radio, then my thinking would be like, turn three of these on. No, we need, okay. If we need to get the signal to the radio, we need to fulfill all of the if conditions. Which to me, hold on, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, okay? So we need to basically light up everything on the paths. With one of these, one is not going to do anything. So we're going to need two no matter what to make progress. But then two becomes two. And then how are we going to... How are we going to do this? You, you see my... Do you see my conundrum? Do you see my problem? Both of these need to be lit up. To send it. You know, hold on. Yes. Excuse me. Can you can you give me a yes? Can you give me a yes? Okay. We're close, boys. I, I think maybe we need one more gate. I think I just wasted a, a lot of your time and a lot of my time as well, to be quite frank with you. This chessboard is gonna is gonna send me into the new millennium, dude. Wonder if there's a, hold on. Four corners. I remember that. One early midsummer's eve, raging storms. Shanghai. Secured passage. Mexico. The end of my voyage was near, but the quest for treasure had just begun. Can't do anything with this, I think. And then we got this eight ball, dude. Like, the eight ball is in the picture. Don't get me wrong. But to what end? <laughs> can you can you put the eight ball in the clock? You cannot put the eight ball in the clock. You know what? I was just thinking, what if we just did this another 20 times? Um, what do you want from me with this? Like, this one's going to send me into the, in a, the stratosphere. If you'll excuse me, thank you. Congrats, you're in check. And also... You can't move because you're dead. Um, no, this makes no sense, dude. I also, I'm like, just let me rotate the board! I just want to rotate the board. I mean, maybe it's not even a chess game and I'm tunnel visioning. Like, the white bishop could go here. The white knight could go here. The black queen could go here. The black knight could go here. And the black rook could go here. What was the point of that? I was trying to just kind of get them lined up slightly. Doesn't really make any sense, I'll admit. This one's gonna have you shouting at the screen. I I just know it. I'm still proud of us for saw. You know what? This one. Trying to think. You were originally 2009. You were originally 97. Excuse me. Two thousand and nine. We could swap. I think this is true anyway. We could put two thousand and nine here. We don't want to put ninety seven there. Though we'd rather put nine. You know what? Because it's such a frictionless attempt, we might as well try, and then swap all these. I mean, this is really where I'm at now. Is like. Just do all these. Okay, so we've done all attempts of 2009 over here. Now we're going to do all attempts of 1991 over here. This happens in escape rooms. And, you know, sometimes it can be... Oh my god, my mouse! Sometimes this can be a good way to get things done. If, if you got no other options and there's no hint button... 
I think I did this the other way. And there's no hint button. You got to do it. Hold on. I think I screwed it up again. So you should be 2009 over here. You should be 1997 over here. Did I just do it the same way for a third time? Hold on. <laughs> just to make sure. Just to make sure. The brain's getting scrambled. This time we're definitely doing it differently. Okay. Then I guess we'll try... Uh, So over here, I think I've probably tried the same thing 20 different times now. This should be 91. This should be 97. You know what? Clearly, I do not know what I'm doing. One of these sons of guns is going to have a logic gate in it. I'll tell you that much. Come on, come on. We're just, we just want to seem, dude. Like the clock is throwing me for a loop. How do I change your time? Clicking on the hands. It's like just after, did I say it was 310? <laughs> I meant 910. I wonder if it, can I just make you like there? And then, I think you were here, here, here. Obviously, this is slightly... Let's go! Okay. Oh, now it's all becoming clear. Okay. Oh, God, it's a mosaic. What the heck? That doesn't seem safe. I can't believe I didn't even try clicking the hands of the clock. An alligator. Okay. Okay. More books. More, more pucks. We got a second wind. The hunt begins for the rhino. Today we hike so much I'm tired and confused. Sneaky wolf almost took the boar meat. Okay, okay. Think I can figure out where that's going. Chess! Checkmate scenario. Do we have six chess pieces? We have five chess pieces. We are missing one more white bishop. All right, fair enough. Look, let's be honest. We're probably not going to get it just by randomly clicking. <laughs> the eight ball is definitely going to go somewhere here. We might as well... Well, it's debatable if you want to just put it on. Uh, grab this, please. Okay. So I'm assuming we just want to get the fire to all the pipes. It's, it's simple. So at some point, we need to turn two pipes into four pipes. done that's not how that works you know what hold on a second take take this one off please I think put because you can't rotate these I think this has to go on the bottom then we would need just a right bend Then how is this going to line up? There's no way it's ever going to line up, dude. You ever consider that there's no way it's ever going to... You ever consider, like, also, you might be missing some pipes now that I think about it? So you can just go... Okay, you know what? <laughs> this is more my speed right here. Okay, we got an eagle's face. I'm, I'm very bad at these, for the record. Which is going to be a surprise to nobody. It's an eagle, dude. It's a, it's a freaking eagle. Um, you got to get this into the rotation. And then send it. it. It takes a bit, okay? Rome wasn't built in a day. My God, the man, he can't be stopped. Is this right? Not sure. It doesn't look completely right, and now I got it all. 
There's no words on it. <laughs> Play us out. What does that mean? Anyway, I think that's going to do it. I'm lost in the sauce. This is a, a delightfully devilish escape room uh, puzzling game called Escape. The Escape, sorry. Colon. Uh, my brother's saloon. I'm doing my best, but it's harder than the previous escape rooms we played for sure. A lot of fun, nonetheless. I'm having a great time. I apologize for not noticing I could change the hands on the clock. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. If you watched all 35 minutes and 30 seconds, I'm going to assume you enjoyed it. Click the like button. Helps me out a great deal. And of course, uh, go check out the game for yourself on Steam. It was graciously provided by the developers. So thank you for that. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll be in the comments soaking up dopamine. See you next time. See ya!